everybody. I'm Shawn Chavis with this special Fulton County update. Of course, we're talking all things early voting and COVID-19. Here to give us the very latest update is the Fulton County Manager, Dick Anderson. Sir, welcome back. Hi, Shawn. You're very good to be uh, back with you again. So as always, tell us, uh, how are those COVID-19 trends looking? Yes, the COVID trends are still a primary focus of ours and they have turned slightly more negative. So our seven day average in terms of new cases has gone from in the mid 60s to now about 110. So that's not a good fact. However, our positive test rate is still below 5%, meaning when someone goes to one of our centers or goes to a hospital to be tested, less than 5% of those are positive. And in addition to that, we represent less than 9% of the total caseload in Georgia, which of course, when this virus first came upon us, we represented almost double that amount. So those two numbers give us great encouragement. Our hospital capacities look good. So that gives us the uh, sense that if this virus again hits another uh, spike, we have hospital capacity to be able to respond. And lastly, of course, as we look forward, we know that we're entering the flu season. So we are concerned about that. We can also see spikes in other parts of the country. So again, remaining vigilant about uh, many of the things that we've talked about uh, before, certainly uh, in response to your audience, but also in broad media messaging that we're doing through our campaign to stay six feet apart, wear a mask, focus on hand sanitization are still critical because they are individual responsibilities that all of us can take to help stem the flow of this virus. And sir, what about testing? Are there any new develops in that COVID-19 testing? Yes, well, testing remains our strong suit. So I'm uh, proud to report that now we're at about 770,000 in total tests, but even perhaps more importantly, I believe we'll reach a million tests by the end of the year. And that'll be an accomplishment in and of itself and will represent two to three times what other counties are doing in Metro Atlanta. The advantage that that gives us is that we have known where the virus is springing up or where certain behaviors are leading to an outbreak. And that's given us better uh, messaging. It's given us more targeted efforts. Obviously, it's led our uh, citizens to seek uh, health care uh, when needed. In addition to testing though, a new development in that arena is twofold. One is we're doing much more extensive contact tracing now. In fact, we've expanded our partnership with CORE, which as you know, was innovative. And uh, one of the things that we did early on uh, was bring those capabilities to bear on testing and staffing at some of our centers. Now they're doing contact tracing and they're doing it on a door-to-door -door basis. So if someone has not responded to a, a phone call they actually go door to door. And the nice part of that is twofold. One is they offer testing for an entire family unit. So if someone is positive, they go door to door, they meet that individual, then they're able to ask, would your family like to be tested as well? And many times we're finding that the family does want to be tested. In addition to that, they offer any social services that are needed. So if someone is in need of income assistance or rental assistance, uh, food insecurity, any of those sorts of things, we still have multiple social service agencies that the county has funded that stand ready to help folks that have COVID or families that have been impacted by this disease. So having CORE go door to door is just one more outreach uh, in that arena. And then lastly, with voting now going on, and one of the innovations that we've brought to that is mobile site voting, first in Georgia, where we have two buses, we're gonna couple those two buses with one of our core units where you can also be tested while you vote. So you'll see our testing units in some cases associated with our buses. You will also see a testing unit at State Farm Arena. So it just gives us another opportunity to reach thousands of people who perhaps otherwise might not have thought to be tested, but may need to be tested. And that will again, bring one more uh, thing to bear in terms of stemming the flow of this virus. And sir, let's switch gears now and talk a little bit about early voting. We are here at the Wolf Creek Library Branch, one of our over 30 locations for early voting. How's it going? So the elections, goes without saying, is our focus because not only is it at historic proportions, in fact, we have done uh, more uh, in a short period of time than could have ever been expected. 
And with 200 plus thousand votes already cast and with many more to be cast, we know that this is going to be a tremendous opportunity for citizens to exercise their right to vote and for us as the government to present a fair and impartial and most importantly to us, good experience for our voters in terms of uh, casting their vote. So as we look at things, we're very heartened to see that lines have now shrunk to less than an hour in most of uh, cases in our uh, sites. We have a mobile app where you can check the time before you go and select the uh, place that you want to go because during early voting you don't have to vote in only one uh, location. In fact you can choose over 30 locations in Fulton County. The preeminent location that we've been talking about uh, for many many weeks now is State Farm Arena and it has done the most votes uh, to date so it shows that citizens are seeing that as an option to avoid any lines. And not only do you avoid any lines, you get the opportunity to vote where the Hawks play. And that may never come this way again because during a pandemic, the Hawks are not playing. Therefore, the arena is available and with the tremendous uh, citizen orientation and really public um, commitment that the Hawks have made, it's an opportunity that you may want to take advantage of just for the experience alone. In fact, the Secretary of State just recognized us recently after he himself personally voted at State Farm Arena. So I'm proud of everything that our elections team has done, as well as the team that supports them, because we literally have people from all across Fulton County, whether you work in a library, a senior center, some of our executive staff in facilities in IT, I could go down a, a long list. It is an all hands on deck approach, and I appreciate all of our Fulton County employees for the sacrifices, quite frankly, that some of them are making, many of them are making, to ensure that this election goes well for our citizens. And Mr. Manager, you know, we always like to get your final thoughts. Well, my, my final thought is three words, elections, elections, and elections. That's our focus. It's a heavy lift, and we're going to make it happen for the benefit of our citizens. And we're, again, sparing no expense or effort or management focus to ensure that that's the case. Fulton County Manager Dick Anderson, always a pleasure, sir. Thanks for your time. Well, again, thank you again, uh, Shania, for allowing us this opportunity to communicate to your audience, uh, to citizens, to our employees, and let's have a good election. Again, sir, always a pleasure. Now you can get all of your early voting or COVID-19 information on the Fulton County website. Just go to FultonCountyGA.gov.